Okay. Thank you so much, Steve. Um, sounds good. And uh, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the presentation on the Volimo Pressure Ind Independent Valve Modeling Plugin, as well as the Energy Valve Savings Estimator. These are two very different items. The PIV modeling plugin is designed to work with specific energy modeling tools, while the savings estimator is a standalone estimating calculator. It's a very basic estimator that uses some common information based on plant design, manufacturer's data, et cetera, to give you an estimated savings for using the Bolimo energy valve. So the pressure independent valve plugin was developed to work with Tray 700 and eQuest. And essentially, it is intended to help qualify the use of pressure independent valves within a building or within a control system. The Bolimo pressure independent valve energy modeling plugin installs pressure dependent pump curves into energy modeling tools. Once the plugin is installed, the efficiencies or the inefficiencies of pressure dependent systems can be compared to the base or original model, which has assumed perfect system dynamics. So we will install the pump curves. They will show a degraded or inefficient version of the model, and that can be compared to the original model. So you may be wondering where this plugin is available. It's available on the Bolimo website under the tab marked Sizing and Selection Tool. When you get to the Sizing and Selection Tool screen, you simply sc scroll down to the bottom, and you'll find four buttons. There's going to be one tab to download the plugin, so one download for both Trace 700 and eQuest. There are some README documents for installing the plugin, as well as a product brochure. Once the zip file is downloaded, you'll find an installer. Uh, opening the installer will initiate an installation wizard. The wizard's going to ask you if you're using Trace 700 or eQuest. If you're not using either of these modeling tools, there's no place for the plugin to be installed. In that case, again, if you're not using eQuest or Trace 700, we do have an alternative. There is something called the Pressure Independent Valve Energy Modeling Module, and that is available in Select Pro, which is our sizing and selection tool, that is also available as a free download on the Sizing and Selection Tool tab. So the installation wizard does what most installation wizards do, and it determines the proper, proper file path for installation and finalizes the install. Now that we've got the plugin installed in eQuest, what you'll have to do is opening an existing project and determine where the pump curves are going to be applied. For this example, we're just going to use chilled water loop pump 1. Under chilled water loop pump 1, you'll select pump properties. When you get to the pump property screen, you'll expand the pump head flow tab and select library. In the curve fit library, you'll select either 5 to 10 PSI, which will be a new building application, or 5 to 30 PSI for retrofit jobs. If you're doing a new building and you're using the 5 to 10 PSI uh, pump curve, you'll be asked to select the curve coefficients for the input type. So you'll go into input type, just select curve coefficients as opposed to raw data points, and click done. Then you'll go back to the pump property screen and click done. At this point, the pump curves are installed. What will have to happen now is the building will have to be modeled once again. And now the model with the plug-in will show a less efficient or more inefficient system, and you'll compare that to the base or original model that was done before the plug-in was installed to reveal the inefficiencies with pressure dependent valves and the advantages of using pressure independent valves. So here we're going to look at train tray 700 a little bit. Um, after installing the plug-in, once again, you need to open the project. And here the pressure dependent curves are going to be installed in the miscellaneous accessories tab under the library section in equipment. Once you get to the library template editor, in the category tag, under miscellaneous accessories library, what you'll do here is select water pump. After the equipment type is selected, you'll choose the applicable pump curve. Again, 5 to 10 PSI for new building, 5 to 30 PSI for retrofits. You'll see once the clot is plotted, you'll click closed. And then we go to the project navigator 
and you select Create Plant. We'll double click on Plants, and under Create Plants, select Cooling Equipment. Once we're under the Cooling Equipment tab, again, we'll select the appropriate only well pressure dependent pump. After clicking Apply, the pressure dependent pump curves are going to be installed. Once again, we'll have to go back and remodel the building and compare it to the original or base model to show the savings that are associated with pressure independent valves. So now we're going to talk a little bit about the Bolimo Energy Valve Savings Estimator. Basically, the savings estimator calculates energy savings based on mass factors data, pump affinity law, and associated delta T. Once again, the savings estimator is available from the Bolimo Sizing and Selection Tool tab on the Bolimo website. Once you get to the Sizing Selection Tool tab, you can download the savings estimator, or you can choose to go to the Bolimo Energy Valve specific website. If you choose to go to the Bolimo Energy Valve specific website, there are some other tools available. We have some presentations. Uh, testimonial videos and case studies, a white paper, some trainings, as well as the all-important installation instructions and technical documents. So there's going to be several key pieces of information you'll need to fill out the home page of the Bolimo Energy Valve Savings Estimator. This is going to include climate region and plant design, electricity cost, uh, chilled water plant load, the number of chillers, operating hours per day, operating days per week, chiller IPLV, secondary pump head, motor efficiency, um, the design, the intended or the design delta T of the plant, and we'll also need the functioning delta T of the plant. So we'll take a look at the average delta T the plant is realizing over the course of the year and use that. And then we're going to need the future delta T as well. And what that is going to be is that's going to be the proposed energy valve delta T manager setting. So that's going to be the delta T. We are going to do our best to get the energy valve to send the water back to the chiller plant at. And then we'll also need the incremental cost of investment for installing energy valves as opposed to installing pressure dependent valves and circuit setters. Uh, this may seem like a lot of information. However, the majority of it is going to be available from manufacturer specifications as well as design or as built drawings or data. So what we're looking at here is the home tab of the Blimo Energy Valve Savings Estimator. If you take note of these show chart tabs to the right of the sheet, if you select these tabs, it will reveal graphical charts for energy use based on current and future delta T annual energy costs pertaining to plant delta T, as well as a final financial analysis associated with making delta T improvements. You'll also see I buttons on the home sheet, energy sheet, chiller sheet, pump sheet. You'll see I buttons, little round blue buttons throughout the Excel sheet. And what the I button does is it'll provide a definition or a reference, possibly a formula, a rule of thumb, or resources pertaining to those associated fields. So if you click on the I button next to IPLV, it will give you some information on the IPLV, give you some recommendations of what numbers to use for your IPLV. If you click on energy cost, it will give you a website to go to to look for average energy costs. Um, and then some rules of thumb simply for, say, your pump and DFD motor efficiency are available there too. So there's a lot of references and resources built within the sheet to answer questions as you're going through and filling it out. Uh, again, here we are. We're looking at the home tab of the savings estimators. Um, when we enter the climate zone and plant design information, it's going to give us energy costs for the energy and energy costs for the energy plant, as well as some operational information. It's going to give us Uh, cost for the energy plant uh, as far as how much it's going to cost you to install the valves. Uh, we'll also put in our electrical cost on average. Basically, the, the key items we talked about on the previous screen are populated into these two regions here. Then what the 
comb sheet will do is based on the climate zone and plant data, it will provide us some different costs relative to operating at different delta keys. It will also provide us a financial analysis as well as a greenhouse gas reduction based on decreased energy consumptions. We have an energy tab that will allow you to adjust the operating hours at different load conditions and create a custom climate zone if needed. If you do need to create that custom, custom climate region, as you can see, there's an I button down there for the custom climate region, and it will give you a website you can reference for setting up a custom climate region. The chiller tab is going to allow you to adjust the ratio of energy consumption for pumps, fans, and chiller controls, and it's going to show different flow rates at different load conditions. The chiller tab also shows plant energy consumption at different delta keys and different loads. We have a pump tab that's going to illustrate pump horsepower, flow, and energy consumption at different load conditions and at different delta keys. And finally, we have a financial analysis tab that's going to provide financial information based on energy efficiency improvements that you've made at the central energy plant by improving the delta T. So with that said, that is the presentation on the energy modeling plugin and savings estimator. Uh, Michaela, I'll send it back to you for questions. Thank you so much, Steve. So we do have a couple of questions, um, just a friendly reminder. The question and answer session will work like this. In your questions tab, you will type in your question and then I will read it aloud and Steve will answer the questions as best as possible. Now, just note, if you have any questions in regards to calculations, um, please email us at marketing at us.belimo.com for a more detailed response. Okay, so our first question that we have, what type of pump curves does the PIV modeling plugin install in energy modeling software? Well, the pump curves are pressure dependent pump curves because most energy modeling tools assume, assume perfect system dynamics. So they function almost as if they are modeling a pressure independent system. So in a way it degrades the base model to show the inefficiencies in pressure dependent systems. Okay. Um, in order to determine the savings for the valves, do we need to run two models, one with curves applied and one without the curves, to obtain the difference? Yes, absolutely. You'll use a base model prior to using the plugin and then a model after using the plugin. Okay, great. Um, has the eQuest methodology been approved by USGBC or U? utility incentive providers? Uh, I'm not 100% certain, but I would think so because eQuest is a DOE generated tool. But I would have to double check on that to be honest with you. Okay. Um, when do you use Tracer versus eQuest? Trace 700 versus eQuest is really a matter of the customer's choice. So if the customer uses more training equipment possibly, they would license Tray 700 from Train. If they don't, they can get the eQuest tool from the Department of Energy, and that is a download that's available for free from the DOE website. Okay. Um, do we have plugins for IES? I do not believe so, but I, I don't think so, to be honest with you, Mikhail. I would double check on that, okay. but I'm fairly certain we don't. Um, will you have a plugin for Carrier HAP software in the future? <laughs> That's a very good question, and there's been some conversation about that. Um, I, I don't know for certain, but again, it's, some, it's not the first time we've been asked that question, and I do believe it's at least under consideration at the time. Okay. Um, next question. In both eQuest and Trace 700, which pump curve is used for retrofit applications? So that's going to be the 5 to 30 PSI curve, not the 5 to 10. Okay, and it looks like we have one last question. Um, where can you find the information needed to fill out the home tab of the Bulimo Energy Valve Savings Estimator? Well, again, most of that is manufacturer's equipment data, 
and some of it will be either on the design build or as built drawings that were put together at the end of the installation of the project. Uh, you can also use the I buttons. The I buttons are very helpful on the home screen to help you figure out where to get the information and what information is really pertinent. Great. Um, it looks like we don't have any further questions, so I want to thank you all so much for attending today's webinar. Um, if you joined us partway through, uh, be advised that this webinar was recorded or is being recorded and will be posted to various marketing sites from Belimo, as well as our YouTube page. Um, Steve, if you have time for one last question, um, do, you have, sure. do you have to have a pump VFD to realize savings with these valves? With Bolimo energy valves or pressure independent valves, yes, the pumping system has to be variable. It has to either be a primary secondary system with a variable secondary system or a variable primary system. All right, great. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today for the Bulimo University webinar series. Um, we look forward to having you participate in future webinars in 2016. So thank you, everyone, and have a great day. Thanks, Mikhail. You're very welcome, Steve. Bye-bye now.